welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be marking down one of those honeydew checklist items off the list. We're going to be installing a 12 foot diameter retaining wall around our flagpole in which we'll be filling with dirt and uh, eventually turning into a flower bed. So stick around, we're going to use the old Mahindra here and a little bit of back breaking work on this nice 90 degree day here in Iowa. <laughs> As far as materials for the day, I got these uh, Corey Gray uh, Crestone um, retaining wall blocks, and we have some paper base. So when I dig out that trench, I'll put a one to two inch layer of this paper base in the bottom, pack it down really nice, and then start putting these uh, all the way around it. It's 170 bricks to do a 12 foot circle, four rows high, so about just over a foot and a half high. Stick around, let's check her out, folks. All right, everybody, to get the project started here, I measured out a six foot piece of rope and attached it to a uh, spray can, marking uh, marking spray. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and mark out a 12 foot diameter circle to give myself some bearings to uh, where I need to remove sod from and to start from. So let's, uh, let's do that. So you'll see I've got multiple lines here, but this was just kind of show reference for the light to see what we wanted to do. This one right here on the outside is the one I just put on. 12 foot, foot diameter and you'll see that the string around the can and around the flagpole. Makes a nice perfect circle. So you know your square. Now we got to remove some sod and then start digging down here to get the, the first level flat and uh, add some paver base. See, I kind of got the high spot here in the back out. I got to do a little bit more leveling here, um, but we're just about getting ready to set that bottom layer. Um, I remarked this circle. Like I said, I got to get a little bit more out right back over in here. We might start doing some handwork now, though. Then uh, we'll get that first layer level and uh, put some of that paper base below it and start stacking them. Now we're going to go ahead and dig along the outside just enough to bury that first brick in the front side so it will retain it all the way around. Um, we'll do that around here and I'll put you guys in time lapse so you don't have to watch me sweat.
Well, I got the first row completely done and level. You'll see that I actually had to dig in over here a little bit. Um, so you'll only see a little bit of that first brick, but ended up perfect. The last one was uh, right on the, on the money. We had them all right in there. You didn't have to cut nothing. So you'll see over here, I started doing the, some stacking just to see where I was at square and level wise. You'll see that's four levels high. So now I'm done with that bottom layer, which is the hardest one. This will go a lot faster in time lapse. Let's speed up a little bit. about 30 pounds of water here and shirts drenched my shorts are drenched but hey we got the project done so um if you guys like what you're seeing today subscribe to the channel hit the like button um hit that little bell so you guys can see i post more videos i know i'm i was kind of narrow on what i was posting at first but i'm going to start broadening the range the ranges here to, to cover everything that's outdoor related so um stay tuned for part two of this where we uh put dirt into it about, we're gonna do about a foot, uh, six inches tall inside, and then we'll uh, put some plants in there and finish it off with some mulch. I also got to cut some bricks here in the back, so I'll show you how I do that using a, a, a block chisel. Um, so stick around. Hopefully, uh, get the project finished up this weekend. We'll have a two part video. We'll see ya.